and it's already November. And look at me, I look like I'm ready for Christmas, right? <laughs> joyful, joyful. What a memory. Did you guys know that is your block in your 40 Fabulous Years book? Yay! And it's for a reason. Did you know we're going to do memory wreath today? And we get to talk about all of our good memories. All right? You're going to have a chance, so you got to think up what's your good memory of me. But anyhow, I was wearing Joyful Joyful. But it was one day last year, and I got a letter from Carol. And she said, and I can put this down here, on one of your webinar episodes, you wore a Christmas sweatshirt that said, Joyful, Joyful. Well, my kids got such a big kick out of what you were wearing that day. From that day on, your name in our house has been Joyful, Joyful. So I like that. Joyful, joyful. So now whenever I get to sit down and quilt, my friends want to know if I'm going to what, be watching an episode with joyful, joyful. I think the name fits you. Happy quilting, Eleanor. Joyful, joyful. Is that good? She sent a picture of her whole family. Want to see it? Okay, here they are. Whoop. Where did Eric go? Okay. Here is Carol and her four children and her husband. Isn't that cute? And it, it makes me feel really happy that the little kids were watching the show and remember me. I, had, I just came back from Quilt Market, and one of the last mothers said, oh, my 10-year-old son watches you all the time. And he asked me, he called me on the phone, and he said, Mom, did you get to see the lady that throws the fabric? <laughs> And I signed a book and sent it home to him. Was that fun? Yeah. That's joyful, joyful. Oh, memory fruit, but oops, memory wreath. We named it memory fruit or memory wreath, but they're both the same block. And Orion asked us to show all of our quilts all over again from the very beginning, just to remind you, I guess it's been about eight, nine months since you see all our quilts, but you still have to make noise when you see them. It has a reason, because we still have some kits, some kits. Ah, just in case you want to make a second one, huh? Okay, you ready? And Teresa is all set. Aww. Uh, yeah, aww, you said aww. Uh. Remember? This, this is the one that um, Teresa did. She actually took um, two and a half inch strips rolls and cut them down and made all six inch blocks with her log cabin. It's very, very fun. And I know you don't remember, but anyhow, do you remember the wave? Yes, yes because next month, our last month, I'm going to show you how to do the wave and with the Rick Rack trim. Okay, that's the first one. Remember? Okay, I don't know if we have a kit of that one, but anyhow, there it is. Okay, next one, and I'm pretty sure we have a kit left over this one. This one is just so much fun. This is what we did in Paducah, and if I would look around, Teresa, I think we even have cut to size kits for this one. Yes, she's making a face. Crib, crib, crib quilt, four pieced ones. Let me see if you have how good you guys are if you remember the names. You're going to have to tell me. Do you remember what this one is? Something about... No. Flying geese. Something about flying geese, right? Oh my gosh. Do you remember this one? Is that friendship? Friendship block? Oh my goodness. We all need to <laughs> shake out our brains, huh? Oh, what's this block called? Love. Yay! All right, pass it on. That one's very pretty. This one, I know we still have a kit left in case you want to make a second one. Ta da! Oh, nice. Remember this one? 
This one has all uh, solid fabrics in the blocks and then the log cabin goes um, in prints all around there. And this is a lap rope size. And the quilting is fantastic in it, huh? Very, very, oh, what's this one? You must know. Yes, you all remember that one for a reason, I think. Huh? Liberty Star, that's really good. And this one is to market, to market. This no. one. No. no? Eleanor Star. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't ask me. I always, I always say my life is a blur. I cannot remember anything. Okay, this one is the one Sue did. <coughs> remember this one? Yes. Do you remember the line of fabric? Yeah, Homestead or something like that. That's my line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kansas Troubles. Good, you got it. Yay, Kansas Troubles. And this one, this is, this is the one that I did, red, white, and blue. See, I have to wear red, white, and blue. Election Day. Is that pretty? Guess what this one's called? Memory wreath. It's a one today. Oh my gosh, we're waking up, huh? We're doing very, very good. I really like it. Do you remember this one? Uh, Kentucky chain. Did you say that, Luann? You're doing good. Oh, and what's this one? Little tiny squares. That's a good name. I like that one. Little tiny squares. No, it has a real name. It's called Independent Square. Independent Square for Pennsylvania. Yeah, what's this one? That was the first one. Silent Star. You guys are getting it. You're cheating. You're looking in your book, huh? You got it now. You just look in your book and you get the answers. That's a good one. I love the backing on that one. It's really cool. All right. This is Teresa's. And she put a different um, outside finish. And she did the scallop. It's the same ruler, the scallop and the wave ruler that we'll show you next time because it's the last class. Whoa, look at this one. This is good, huh? Let's see what we can find. Um, I'll show you the one that didn't get in the book. That one we get crashed about all the time on the bottom, right? Ellen, and the top. What's the, the one with stock. the blue background with the red and white? That yeah, star that's there. a star. Yeah, this one. It yeah. didn't get in the book. I know. <laughs> because we thought it was going to be too hard for you. Okay. But the people in Teresa's class wanted to do it anyways. It's very pretty. And did you do, how did they do, Teresa? They did great. They did great. Yeah, this one is actually, she, she did it, uh, her quilt first, before we really had a complete plan. This one, and then also in the bottom, we thought we were going to put applique in there, but in the end we didn't. Do you see the one in the bottom? Yeah. That one is the posy from the attic book, Elle's Attic, and really fun. But it's very, very pretty. Is it coming back to you now? Yes. You getting there? You're all awake? I think I'm all awake, too. And now, pardon me? I need a towel lady to help me. OK, here. I got a corner. Can you help me? I'm going to try. One, two, three. Whoops. Oh, oh OK, we're going to switch. Wow, this one is king size. I wonder if I'll get this home for my king size bed. That was the perfect color. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa said behind the quilt that was the purpose. I made king size. <laughs> I, I have um, three king size beds and no king size quilts. Oh. Oh. But anyhow, this is the line. The Homestead, <laughs> Homestead, this is my line. This is the line with Benner Tex. I just did, um, I just did a program for Benner Tex. It was really, really fun. But anyhow, I'm going to ask you a really easy one. And this block is the, see, y'all know, 
Well, you now know all the traditional ones. And I think we have a kit left of that one. And one more quilt. And we're all done with them. Then you're all, you're going to remember all the blocks, right? And, yep, one more. A big one. This is the modern look. Let me see. Ah, look at that one. Is that pretty? And this one is David. Um, and it's all solid colors. And I really like the quilting, and I'm really adapting to this, all the little circles and the quilting, the modern quilting, and then the lines out here kind of go like very geometric around, around the outside. Well, if we were smart, we would have a label on it. Judy Jackson. Judy Jackson. Judy Jackson has to pin her name. Let me see if she did it. Oh, look, there's the label is sewn on, but there's nothing written in it. <laughs> I said, Teresa, we have to start doing that. And she said, well, all we have to do is look in the books. They all say who made what. And then we'll have to record them someday. Judy Jackson. Yay, is that it? Woohoo! So are we ready for Memory Star? Yeah. And did you see our Memory Wreath? Oh God. Memory Wreath. And did you see the beautiful Memory Wreath on the back? Well, isn't it beautiful? With the fussy cut right in the very center. This is actually a square and a square. You've got a square and a square right there. And then you have to start making um, half square triangles which you'll see but these end up being squared up with a geese patch you can almost see that can't you how you could put the geese ruler it's the three by six geese ruler right on top and square it off and then just four corners those are the easiest ones but it's really beautiful with the pink and the floral in the center and then the green around the outside makes that wreath shape because I keep on mess mixing it up, we did. Hello, Giuliani, you, you just got here. I keep on mixing it up. You tried to sneak in, didn't you? <laughs> it's too much fun. So I'm just going to move my family, the joyful, joyful family, and pull this book over. And I have to show you what I was given at market. So if it's the 40th anniversary, the jewel is the ruby. Ruby red. Ruby red. Next year, oh, look who's celebrating the 40th anniversary next year. It's Ulfa. And so everybody always says, when did the rotary cutter come out? When was the first year it was? So if I wrote my book in 1978, and uh, they're coming next year for the 40th. What was the first year that they had their rotary cutter? 79. Now we know the answer. And I saw these. They were just showing these beautiful ruby red rotary cutters with new sharp blades. I went over. They had three of them. And I begged one of them off of them. <laughs> Is that cool? Is that powerful? <laughs> and so actually, because it's going to happen next year, you can order them now. You can go ahead and get, get your name on a mailing list. I'm writing what David wrote. It's not available until February 2019. But I'm so excited. They told me to get it out and use it. There you go. Is that good? Mm -hmm. I wish I had it all year. My ruby red rotary cutter. Wouldn't that have been something? Very, very cool. All right. So that was something that I did at market. So Teresa's got all of the blocks all ready. Oops, and I, I think I'm going to need the blade loosen because I can't even shut it. Oh, it's a little tight. Okay, here's the 12-inch block. She says you need to press, don't you? Oh, you need to press. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you need to press. Up. Oh, at the bottom. It's mm -hmm. uh, 
Treats is hard for me. Okay, I'm getting used to it. Okay, I can do it now. <laughs> but anyhow, here's the block right here with the center. The triangles around the center. Have we done this patch before? Yeah, you're supposed to say <laughs> you're supposed to say yes. And then it's on Road to Paradise. Okay, so let's just turn the page and we're going to look at it and we're going to get going. And I think maybe I do a, better do a little bit of it. So you need to have two squares. I'm doing the 12 inch block. I'm doing red. I'm just going to put them right sides together. And all you have to do, I have a six and a half inch try, um, fussy cut ruler. See, I did it really fast. So you're going to cut it in half. And then, remember, you take the square and you put two triangles on both sides. Flip it right sides together, like so. And you just go do 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 And then when you open it up, then what do you have to do with the tips? Trim them. Cut them off. And then, let's see, whoop. That's good, whoop. There they go, they disappear. But then you need to have the last two triangles are going to go on there. One, and then the other. And then go do 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 do. Press them out. And Ta-da! <laughs> Actually, we did this. There, there is more parts of the block that I was going to take more time with because Teresa and I looked and said, "Well, they know how to do this, right?" Yes. Okay. So that is your very, very center that we're going to just set aside, and then the next part we got to watch Teresa. Maybe we're going to go too fast. How about this one? I'm going to make four half square triangles. I'm already on page 138. Okay. Half square triangles and the six inch size is three and a half by seven. Draw a diagonal line. Draw the 12 inch. I did I say? I wanted to make sure you were listening. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so so the 12 inch is three and a half by seven. You take two pieces of fabric, put them right sides together, draw a straight line, then you draw diagonal lines, and then what do you do? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Can I cut this in half? Okay. So, see, Teresa and I have to do this twice more. So, she's going to say, oh, hell, don't cut it. I'll have to make more of these at lunchtime. And she said, sure. Okay. So, you take them, and this time, let's see, you press toward the dark. This would be the dark, right? Press toward the dark open and I and you're gonna cut off the tips one two and we're supposed to square this up to what size do you have one do you have a ruler let us see yeah oh she said she had it on top but we're we're looking for this Six and a half inch triangle square up root. Okay, two and five eighths. Two and five eighths. So if you turn it on one side, you can see the one eighth inch from two, and there are eighth inch marks all along there and both sides. So, oh, you want me to put glow line? That's up to you. Well, why not? We have it now. Okay, so 
The easiest way, so you don't keep on making a mistake, is to go down five. One, two, three, four, five. Which is just the little green line. If you put that like that, no, it, Eric must be really close. You guys saw that. <laughs> I'm testing us. I was. I am testing you. So now, okay, I did one. Do I have it now? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Good. And that's just in case if you're doing a whole king size quilt, let me tell you, that glow line tape will save you a lot of time constantly looking and looking. So you can do it closed if you take and put the glow line right in the line. It's an odd number. So I have the uh, five eighths lined up on my stitches. Yep. That's a lot to trim off, huh? Mm -hmm. But we had to do it that way. Up and around, and then just cut off the corners. Da da! Press it to the dark. There's one, and you can press that one. And if you press it open, this is the way Patty, Teresa, and Sue all do it. They press their triangles open, and then they put that. 5 8 inch line, 2 and 5 8 inch line on that open fold and they have to do it twice and I don't know they just they um, they think that it's more accurate this way. Is that the way you do it? Yes. You know what? You're allowed to do it whichever way you want to do it. Whatever you feel comfortable with you feel that it's accurate but then that way you trim on all four sides. And then they're ready. And let me let, let's compare them. Let's see. Okay, let us put them on top of each other. Yep. What do you think? <laughs> they look the same. I think so. They look the same. Okay. So now we moved right through making the center, making the four half square triangles. I have two of them. And now the next piece we need is for the background squares on either side. And I'm at the top of page 139. It's a four and three eighths inch square. And you need to have two of them. Oops, I think she went for more. What do you think? She just walked out. <laughs> she had it in her hand? Okay, so I'm just going to take um, the six and a half inch, cut it once, not pick it up, don't let it fall apart. Of course it did. And then I'm just going to turn this the other way and cut the other way. I know what she was doing. Wow, my ruby red cutter is pretty sharp. I'm working on closing it every time. It's very sharp. Okay, so we've got the first one done, cut in fourths. The background is cut in fourths. I'm just going to look at the picture, and it shows the red is in the upper right cor left corner, right? Upper left. I'm going to take these little triangles that I just cut from my background and put it like this, right? Did, did you go for more squares? <coughs> No, we didn't know why you ran away. <laughs> okay, and so I'm just going to flip this right sides together, like so. And I think that I'll just do two of them, okay? So you're going to do assembly line sewing. Let me get my joyful sweater down here. You know, I was looking through a Christmas magazine already. I love shirts, uh, sweaters for Christmas. But this one caught my eye, a sweater with the red pickup truck, the Christmas tree in the back, and the dog. And I got Christmas cards like that last year. I just absolutely loved it. And so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go ahead and get that sweater. So if you see me the next time, I'm going to have on my red truck. Okay, that's one. And right side up, flip it right sides together. 
and assembly line sew it. Are you with me? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, it looks tricky, but we're going to do it. All right, that's good. And now I'm going to do what? Press my seam, how? Okay, look at my, to the background. All right, so I would like to use my fingers, but look, Teresa stand in there. Okay, so you can just go ahead, press it really good, Teresa. All right. All right, and let us see. Set the seams with the background on the top, open, press toward the background, and the next thing is to trim the tips. I wonder if um, kids watch and say, you know, mommy, the tip lady. <laughs> yeah, cut it off. <laughs> you never know what kind of name you're going to get, huh? Okay, I'm going to do this one. Okay, I have two of them all trimmed off, and now what am I going to do? Okay, I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to put it down like this, and put them both down like that. Get the last two that I have on here, and let me see, like that. Am I doing it right? Yes. Okay, I'm doing it good. All right, so just flip it over, flip it right sides together. We're doing good. So I always like all of the letters that um, I get from you. They just bring such good memories to me. I, I enjoy them so much. Some of them make me laugh. Some of them make me cry. But I save most of them. I have scrapbooks. You should see my office. It's just full of all the letters and the good memories that you sent. Well, I brought along a couple of my good memories. And I'm making sure that's right. And I'm going to have Teresa bring any one of the good memories. Let's see what she's got. Oh, this memory. All right, I love this memory. This is a memory from Camp Cedar Glen. It must have been about 20 years ago. And I was sewing late at night with a new friend from Florida. Her name was Carolyn. And we said, oh man, we're hungry. We want to find something good to eat. And so she went and she got popcorn out of the cupboard. Nice, greasy popcorn. <laughs> and I said, Carolyn, I can't eat that popcorn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the grease all over my quilt. And she said, wait a minute, I have a new quilter's tool for you. And she ran and she gave me a new quilter's tool. <laughs> and she said, Elle, this is what you do. You just take it and you squeeze it and you get the popcorn in your mouth and you eat it. <laughs> and you can just set it down and just keep on sewing. And she said, and when you get, you want more salt, all you do is take the end off of the new quilter's tool, <laughs> sprinkle a little salt on, and go on with your quilting. And I just want to tell you, I have remembered this forever. <laughs> is that funny? Mm. Mm. Would you like to try some? <laughs> is that funny? That's really funny. Okay, so now I'm down to the bottom of the page, right? Are we doing good? Yes. That was easy, right? Yes. Okay, so she's going to press toward the background. So we are going to go to... Popcorn things? What's that? <laughs> Do you sell the popcorn I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I don't even know ever what it was really for. Do any of you know? Maybe she got it like in a store for a dollar or something like that. That's too funny. Okay, so we've got this part. We're getting there. We're getting there. You want to see where it goes? Oh, Teresa. Ooh. Ooh. No. Oh, I have it right. 
I don't scare me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the yellow. Mm -hmm. The on page one forty, that fabric on page one forty, it's the yellow. It's really yellow on top of the green plaid. But the, the yellow backside looks really pale. But can can you tell that it is really yellow? Oh, yeah. It really is yellow. I'm on 140. It's really yellow. In the next edition, we um, made it more yellow, so you wouldn't make up make a mistake. Okay, this is a four and a half inch. I feel like my glasses are fogged. Two four and a half inch squares. Green on the bottom, yellow on the top. Right sides together. Draw a diagonal line, and then you, and then you turn it around, and on the other side you go. <laughs> Very funny. You guys are so funny. <coughs> All of your grandchildren are going to start talking about you. <laughs> Cut it in half, and um. Then take it, oops, I'm sorry, I should have cut it the other way, but let's just put it back together because <coughs> we are actually going to cut this one again into four pieces. Ta-da! <coughs> right? Yes. Okay, and then you press the seam toward the medium. Between these two colors, which color is the medium? Yellow. Okay, put them yellow on top, open and press toward the medium. Okay, and look at these guys. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to trim these off. I'm just going to go right here. Not right now? Okay, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. Okay, so here I'm at the top of the page. And you can give me one of them. Okay, and let's see. This one? Yep, this is going to be right. See? Yes. I'm at seven and eight. Seven and eight. So it, when I flip these right sides together, we want to lock that right there. And that's really good. That fits really good. We're nearly done. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's line it up there. And actually, they're really, um, they're really close in size. Line up pretty good. Okay, do we have another memory? Oh. Oh, you can get ready. Oh my gosh, this memory. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. Okay, that's a quick one. Okay. Okay. So, when I first started on on television. My mom said she couldn't even stand to listen to me <laughs> because she said I didn't sound like her daughter. Somehow when you, you start to do television, your voice sounds different, and she wouldn't watch me. And so anyhow, people have talked, and so I'm just going to take this and press it toward the triangles on top. Okay, and Teresa can do that. And so I was with... Um, a teacher training group and they were telling me, Elle, did you know that every time you started your program, you put your finger in the air and you said, and now we will make this quilt. <laughs> I don't remember that. And now we will make this quilt. And so this is what they gave me so I don't have to wear out my finger. <laughs> Is that funny? That's funny. That's funny. Okay, I'm nearly done and I'm saving the best one for last. Okay, so now I've got this one side of the green and the yellow and it's pressed out. And now from the same piece, I'm going to take and put it on the opposite side. Ah, there you go. 
There you go. And right here, I'm going to take this. I think you told me not yet, Teresa. Not that one. I got <laughs> to trim it off, that right? Yeah. Uh-huh. That one. That one, I got to trim it off. Okay, so when you put this right on here, and you flip it right sides together, then once again, this is all going to lock. So whenever you put it all together, it really locks good. Okay, so I'm just going to sew this one. I love pieces that lock. I, um, I, whenever I use some somebody else's quilt and they don't tell me how to lock the seams, I get frustrated. I go, what? Wait a minute. What do I do? Okay, line it up there. And do we have the flying geese ruler ready? Okay, there you go. There you can go. press that open. And the one that I'm using, the ruler that I'm using for the 12 inch block is my three by six, my three by six. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. Let's put it down here. Let's take the green lines and line them up with the seams. Ooh, look at that. That's good. Did somebody go, huh? <laughs> Who said that? Huh? I'm going to put it on my turnable. I think that'll go really good. Huh? Was that Eric that said that? And the reason that I really like this, I mean, look how good that is. <gasps> okay, do you see how you have the line, the quarter inch line across the top? That's perfect. So just take it. Trim it with your ruby red rotary cutter. And you're going to do one. Turn it. Don't let it move. You could put um, a glow line, glow line tape. No. Invisigrip, right? Right. Invisigrip. But when we put it on TV, then it um, glares, so I have to do it without. Okay, and one more. One more side. Ta-da! Not much, but that makes it really good. And the tell is when we take this and we line it up with this. Ah, is that good? Okay, so you need to make four just like that. Very nice, right? Yes. One, two, three. And let's put this one over here. You're so fast. I'm so fast. <laughs> I know. And then I have a good assistant. Okay, and then I'm just going to have the corners in each. That really does look like a wreath, huh? Yes. You can see it going around there. It's really, really pretty. Right side up. Ta-da! All right. My last memory. My funniest memory. One that I will remember the rest of my life. Okay, so when I go to Paducah, there are busloads of people that come in, and, and they a lot of times bring little gifts to me. Well, I have a group that's called the Rhinestone Quilters, and they come by the busload, and they come loaded with their rhinestones on their wrists and their necklace, and they usually put a rhinestone right here <laughs> on my face, and there was one elderly woman. She didn't get it. She said, I don't know how those young women can deface themselves. <laughs> Let's just stick it on there with glue. They always put a little rhinestone ribbon on my cardboard statue. Orion gets mad because you can't peel it off. <laughs> they always bring me gifts, and their main focus is to figure out a gift that will embarrass me terribly. <laughs> so one year, they gave me this little collar, like this. And I had the rhinestones on it. Is it cute? 
The rhinestones, it says rhinestone quilters. It's got Allen or it's got little hearts on it. It's got little rhinestones everywhere. It's really, really cool. Like it? And everybody was wearing one with their name on it. And um, they said, Eleanor, you have been so gracious showing us, sharing your patterns all your life. So this time, we are going to share our pattern for this collar with you. I go, oh, how nice. That's cool. Juliana is going crazy. And so they gave me the pattern. <laughs> And the girl standing beside them presenting this was new. And she did not know how naughty the rhinestone quilters were. And she immediately went like this <laughs> and took it off and threw it over her shoulder. She just didn't want to wear it. <laughs> Is that funny? I have a box of the patterns out in the <laughs> other room if you would like one too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, and Teresa said, this is, this is whenever I was running for president, a lot of people voted for me. <laughs> so you just remember to vote, huh? I did, my, I did a ballot before I went on my trip. Okay, you want to see how to sew this together? Are we doing good? Yes. Okay, so we're just going to take this and flip this right sides together. And this point right here, do you see this point right here? This is a little tricky to match. I think that a pin would be really great to match. And I think of Teresa's, oh, yes, she says you have pins in your sewing machine. So what I'm going to do is go right here to this V point in my thread and push it through, just kind of stand it up and then peel it back. And you can see that I have the same point right underneath. I'm just going to put the pin right through there and just kind of match it up and stand it. really looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. I, have, I can't take the credit. Teresa <laughs> sewed all my pieces while I was gone. Okay, so now let's just see how this comes out. And um, get it all lined up. So, we're going to do Christmas next month, huh? Mm -hmm. So, would you like to do a little um, Christmas lunch to share? Want to do that? Sure. Okay, so line that up. And now I'm just going to take this right here. And I've got my standing pin. And be very careful. So easily I can distort. The good thing is, the good news is, there is nothing to lock up in this piece. So that's cool. So just line it right along. Okay, we're going into the pin. Let's see, let's see. I'm just going to hold the pin and be careful. And I'm going to just pull it out just before I go over it. Woo! And just match up the opposite edge. Easy, huh? Yes. It's very complicated looking. I think that the pattern, whenever you're done with it, it's really, really fun. So, line it up here. So, are you thinking about your favorite memory with me? Can you condense it into about a minute? Huh? Yeah? Anybody? Anybody have a good memory? Juliana, you must have a good memory of me. Do you have a good one? All right, I'm going to take this and I'm going to get ready to just flip it right on there. And Juliana is going to come stand right in front of the iron. Okay. And Eric's going to give you the um, mic and you just have to say it in about one minute. <coughs> Only one minute. One minute, right, yes. You got it. Okay. When I was a brand new quilter, I, I made some pretty amazing mistakes. And I was sewing with Eleanor, and she comes over, and she says, what did you do? And I says, oh, does that mean I have to unrip, unsew it and rip it all apart? And she says, don't worry. Just give it to me. I'll do it.
Aw, thank you. <laughs> that was a good one. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to unsew all your stuff. <laughs> Lou Ann, you must have a good memory. Lou Ann, we have been together so many years. Can you come up? Think fast, think fast. Oh, I can tell you. Yeah, I want you to come up and say your, your memory of Wilt in the Day, the two of us together, stand right by the iron. Are you coming up with one? I do remember that when you moved here, you were desperately looking for a place to be. That's you right. I came to California skidding all the way. I did not want to come. I cried for three months. You did? I hated it, Aww. but I found Quilt in the Day, and that was my salvation. Aww, and thank she you. can't get rid of me. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Everybody has these great, yeah. great but memories. But it's been wonderful, and I've That's loved a good it. memory. So. Thank you, Luann. <laughs> and how many years is it? Oh, I don't know. A lot. Okay. My hair was brown then. <laughs> <laughs> we all had brown hair. Okay, Teresa, are you going to come and tell a memory? Oh, I'm not afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take the mic and stand by the iron. Are we oh, doing wow. good? She really put me in the spot. I don't know which one to tell. But um, <laughs> I started working here in 92. 92? And I think the best one is when my girls were little. She treated them like her little girls or whatever. And she always will tell me, as she knew after school, 2.30 or 3, and she said, you want to go home, right? Has we doing videos or so on? And I say, yes. So okay, don't worry. Just go home. We'll finish tomorrow. That was my best. And that's <laughs> why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you my memory of Sue. Sue, Sue is retired now. We are going to do a special retirement little bed turning for Sue at the end of December. But um, she said that I was gone on many trips when she first came and she was working in the store and she said they were playing videos on TV and she always heard this person with this funny voice talking and teaching. And then one day she heard it live. And it was me, she said. <laughs> And she came to me, and she had um, was making one of our um, prototypes, one of our sample quilts following one of our test patterns. And she came to me, and she showed me her new quilt. I had just met Sue, and she said, I grabbed out a ruler and measured her quarter-inch seam. <laughs> And she wanted to die. <laughs> but it wasn't even Sue I was thinking about. It was a test. I just wanted to know if the pattern was working or not. <laughs> but she says that's her first memory of me. That's good. OK, so I am just going to show you here how nice this locks together. So I've gone, done the vertical rows. So just whenever you go across. You're going to press your seams, and I'm trying to figure out, away, away from the center? Yeah. Towards the center. Away, toward the, cen the center. Toward the center, and away on the other side. Mm -hmm. Toward the center, and away on the other side. And that works really good. Okay, who's got another memory? Chris? Oh, David, you have one? I was going to ask Chris because she's been with me a long time too. Okay, David, you come up. I want to hear your memory. So, um, Al and I have many memories, some I can't share. <laughs> Some I can't share because uh, we're backstage partners, so I get to dress and undress her sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one. Uh, You're going to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> if you know me, you know I love food, so bring me food anytime you come by. But uh, Eleanor made a uh, blackberry cobbler, and I had been looking forward to it because she kind of hinted at it. 
So I did come in late, and did you tell me it's my fault for coming in late? Somebody did. Maybe. <laughs> I think it was Teresa. And so I came in late, and I was so sad. I went to the back, and there it was just an empty dish. <laughs> and so I threw a fit, and I did throw a fit, and Teresa said, well, that's what you get for coming in late. I said, okay. So, Eric, you're going to have to run back. <laughs> so I go to my desk, and on my desk, there's this little plate <laughs> in the queen's handwriting. <laughs> And it says sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I scraped it off. <laughs> and so I got my little taste. So thank you. That is very, very funny. Very, very funny. I forgot. I was afraid of some of the things he might share. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, somebody else have a little memory they'd like to share? I'm nearly done with this. Oh, please, come up, Julie. This will be good. Um, yeah, um, Elle was uh, speaking at our guild at El Camino Quilters, and she was in full costume, and she was doing a quick costume change. And so there was a little break, and I went to use the restroom, and I heard this voice saying, is someone out there that can help me with my zipper? <laughs> And she was, she was changing and just got a little stuck kind of midway. So that was actually how I met you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I had that um, just in Houston. Um, it happened again. I had to have her pull up my zipper. I was getting dressed. Um, they, I was doing um, 40 Fabulous Years with the Log Cabin. By the way, you're going to be getting your Log Cabin book. Next month be a nice Christmas gift, but anyhow, um, I started the show out dressed in one of my 1978 dresses, and I had to I had to get in it into my brown wig. Oh, maybe I have to do that for you guys too. And I said the same thing, and then all of a sudden the lady said, oh, "You're Eleanor Burns, aren't you?" <laughs> Yeah, just do my zipper. <laughs> okay, anybody else? I'm near. I have one more. That was a funny one. Oh, come, please. Oh, thank you for volunteering. Let me see what time it is. We're doing good. Well, poor Eleanor must be the queen of wardrobe malfunctions <laughs> because a bunch of us remember being in a class when Eleanor was going toward the quilt and her skirt fell off. <laughs> but luckily she had a very nice slip under it, so lucky for all of us. <laughs> that, that was um, in uh, cooking from Elle's Kitchen. And Orion put two battery packs on the back of my summer skirt. And, and she is right. I walked around the back of my koala studio and my skirt literally fell on the ground. And none of you would have had to have seen it except that the Ryan was right there with the camera and he went right down on me. Showed the whole world. Oh my gosh. That's a funny memory. And that's it. And it's all sewn together. Ta-da! Thank you. Thank you. So keep on sending your memories. I love them. And spending time with me and having lots of fun. Thank you.